Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Eric Blur. Thanks for checking out this video. It's almost Halloween, so happy Halloween out there to everybody. Um, unless it's not Halloween and you're seeing this way later, then happy whatever holiday it's about to be. Anyway, it's almost uh, Halloween, like I said, and I was thinking about scary movies, special effects, things like that, and I was wondering, what's something I could show people how to do this real simple. And so today I wanna just talk a little bit about a really easy special effect that you can do if you're making a scary movie. Um, the, uh, mm. That stings. I'll show you how to do that. Hey everybody, always remember safety first. If you're ever actually using a real knife, make sure you're actually cutting away from yourself. Don't ever cut toward yourself. You might actually cut yourself for real. Please don't do that. Remember, safety first. To start off, I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro and I have the clip I want to work with already on the timeline. Um, first of all, we want to duplicate the layer. So I want to hold Alt and drag the clip up so we have the same clip on top of itself right there. Next, I want to make a new item, color mat. And I like to uh, make the video size on this a little bigger than the normal screen. You can use the regular screen, but I'm gonna make it bigger just for this one effect. I'm gonna make it about 6,000 by 3,000 pixels. You can pick any color you want, but I'm just gonna leave this black, click OK. Now I'm going to want to find where I want to put this on the timeline. So I want to find out where I accidentally cut myself or where it looks like I do. I didn't actually cut myself and drag the color mat on the timeline into video layer three. And then I'm going to resize it just so it fills the screen. Now let's go to effects and I'm going to search for VR fractal noise. And so under VR fractal noise, you have lots of options, lots of things you can change, lots of things you can play around with. Feel free to go through there and play around to get the look that you want. The couple things that I'm really going to focus on is the contrast and the brightness. I'm going to make it where you can tell really bright spots and really dark spots. So the white spots is where the blood, if you will, will show up on the screen. And then you can go through here and play around with other settings to kind of give it the look that you want. So next we're going to search for our track mat key and then we're going to drop the track mat key onto video layer two, which is under the, the track mat that we just created. And we're going to go down under mat and under compositing, we're going to change it from mat alpha to mat luma. And then the mat, we're going to change to video three. And you can see it doesn't really change anything at this point, but you're about to see all the changes soon. So now let's go back to effects and let's take tint and drop that onto our video layer two right there. And what we're going to do is map white to a bright red color. Click okay. And then for the blacks, we're going to pick a darker red color, almost black if you want. And you can see the blood splatter actually starting to show up on the screen there. Play with the colors, get the look that you want. Now let's search for another effect, Gaussian Blur. And we're gonna drop that onto the video layer as well. This is gonna just to increase the blurriness because blood is hard to see through, I guess. So it makes the lens look blurry where it hit the screen, hit the lens. And just play with the blurriness to get it as blurry as you want. I believe I've got it set to 92 here. All right, change it back down to 76. <laughs> So that looks pretty good, but now we want to animate the blood coming onto the screen. So what we're going to do is add a crop effect. So let's go back to the effects and search crop. We're going to add crop to the color matte layer. And now let's animate it. So I want to hit the stopwatch next to left, crop it all the way to 100%. Then I'm going to go forward a frame and uh, make it go about a third of the screen, go another frame, make it go another third of the 
screen and go a, a one more frame forward and have the crop all the way back to zero. So it looks like blood splatters over three seconds or three frames real quick. So let's see what it looks like. Um, so that didn't go quite as quickly as I would like it to. So I'm gonna go back and play with the animation. I'm gonna make it go over two frames basically instead of three. So I'm gonna go for this keyframe arrow here and go over one frame and go 50%, about half the screen, and then go forward another keyframe and go to zero. And I'm just gonna delete the last keyframe. Now let's see what that looks like. If you're making a scary movie, um, Thanks for watching everybody. If you have learned something today, please remember to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to learn more editing and effects tips in the future. Thanks. I'll see you guys in the next one.